What's up, guys? Um, just showing you guys how to um, get these black bars. You see, as you can see, the black bars on the side of the videos that you're usually what's the screen size? Uh, blah, blah, I don't know. Hold on, four by three usually leaves these kind of marks, or any games that were played on your Wii usually leave these marks, or anytime you just want to zoom in on things. Um, to get anyway, to get the black bars out of the way, this is what I would do because. Roxy Video Wave is a very weird editing program. I, I mean, it's really good, but it still needs a lot of work. I mean, it could be really, really good editing software when it wants to be. Um, besides when it's freezing and all that. But anyway, besides all that, you want to right-click on the video or whatever, you're, whatever you're, um, part you're selecting. And you're going to go to Edit and Pan and Zoom Editor. Once it loads up. Okay. Screw all the other crap, right? Preset, don't worry about it. Go right to advanced. From there, it's gonna give you a little this little thing to zoom in on. You take it and zoom it until the preview window over here is filled um, without the black bars, or until you desire it to, you know, not be filled up. So, you see, right about there. Okay. You you can tinker with it until you feel fit. So after you do that, click OK. Now you see it's all gone now. Oh, the black bars are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, this and this is not the best. It's not my best zoom in because you can see at the top here the stage select is all gone and stuff like that. But um, you, you get the idea where how to zoom in. Now this is zoomed in for only so long. So with that, let's say you're you're around. I mean, you don't even have to go this far back. But let's say we're ten minutes behind. You'll see that the black bars are back. Okay, hold on, I need a better image. Yeah, All right. See on here this on the side that the black bars came back. It's because I don't know. I I wish I could tell you why. I don't know. Um. But with that, you're gonna go back. I mean, I just go back to or whatever video you're like I said, whatever video video you're selecting. You might have a bunch of videos in one, and you might want to do it, but um, you have to double not double click. Sorry, you have to go back to edit again, pan and zoom editor again, right? Wait for it. Okay, then don't click anything else but OK. It's fucking weird that you have to press OK twice. On that whole ordeal, you have to, you have to, it's like you have to verify it or something. It's fucking weird. So you press OK once to get the pan and zoom, and then you do it again to get the pan and zoom again. So now, let's say we go back to 10 minutes 54. You see that it, all the black bars are gone. These black bars at the bottom are just, um, for me, like I said, not editing it, pulling it up right, and that's why it looks all weird like that. But once you put it out in, um, the done format is once it's all done, um, you'll realize that your black box black boxes are gone. It'll bring a more um well more classier video for anyone who's watching on YouTube or just you're making videos for whatever. So with that, I'll see you guys later. I'm glad I could help with if anyone's still worrying about black bars because a lot of people have these videos on YouTube, but they go all into it and it's like this doesn't make any sense like. People are moving the whole screen thing and doing all that. I was like, you don't have to do all that. Just do it twice. Um, I, I found it out by just fucking around and tinkering around with it. And then I, I got it. So, with that, I'll see you guys later. Um, good shit. And if you haven't seen my other videos before this one, uh, check them out. And uh, I'll see you guys later.